Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Denise and in today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Libra moon. And Libra moon, as I've said before, the moon I like to think of as the little baby, the kind of little baby that you are. And the reason for that is because the moon is that part of yourself that you can't really deny. And a baby has certain needs that can't be denied. And without those needs being met, the baby can't survive. So that is essentially what the moon represents in our charts. It's that very vulnerable, vulnerable, <laughs> very vulnerable, tender part of ourselves that keeps us going and that we need to nurture and take care of, okay? So when your moon is in Libra, then first remember that the moon is two things. It's your needs, as I've already said, but it's also your reactions. So when you have a Libra moon, Remember that your reactions are going to be like a combination of your moon and your Mars. So if this doesn't resonate, you might have like a really fiery Mars. But so when you have the moon in Libra, essentially your reactions are going to be very calm and poised. You don't really want to respond in a way that is untoward because you think that that is like beneath you. Remember that Libra is ruled by Venus and Venus is that pleasant sign of love and beauty and relating to others. So beauty and grace that is the libra moon they want to be at all times diplomatic they want to be fair they want to be gracious at every moment even in their like when they're arguing with you unless they explode right everybody does have a moment like that but in the general sense libra always seeks fairness and and equality and treating others with kindness and respect that is so important to a libra moon they don't like to appear untoward or brash like think of like how an Aries moon might get loud or just be really blunt about things a Libra moon which is the opposite would never do that they would never say something bluntly even if it's honest like they wouldn't because they never want to offend anyone so now let's talk about the needs so Libra moon as I've already kind of hinted at they need a lot of fairness they need fairness in their relationships with other people and in their interactions not only that but relationships are super important Libra is the sign that represents relationships so relationships are very important to them not only just a romantic relationship but they need to have friendship and just just general camaraderie with other people that's really important camaraderie camaraderie is more of an Aquarius word so they just need to have an open interaction with others they don't like to cut bridges even if somebody does something untoward to them they might just leave you know leave that bridge unscathed and just continue on with the relationship maybe be a little more um, distant but they'll never cut things off entirely because they want to remain gracious with everybody that's really important to them Another thing that Libra Moon needs is beauty. They are very much, you know, since I've already said, they're ruled by Venus. So they need to be surrounded by beautiful environments. They really like like interior decorating, interior design. They like to create beautiful pieces of art. They could be very artistic Libra Moons. And they might decorate themselves in a very aesthetic way. Um, think about their clothing. They dress really nice. Um, or they could even, like, be they could have tattoos that are very beautiful or just having beautiful things around them is very important obviously their partner they want a very beautiful partner who will make them look who a partner who will make them look even more beautiful um in general just being surrounded by beauty is very important to them they can't just be in an environment where it's just like plain or ugly they'll make sure and do something to make it look pretty because that is how important aesthetics are to Libra Moon people. Yeah, so Libra Moon people really need to create beauty around them. That is super important. They also need to have, as I've said again in relation to Venus, they need to have peace and tranquility. They they don't really they don't like fighting. They don't like fighting at all. They don't like hostility. They don't like to they might leave a lot of things unsaid just so that they could keep the peace around you know because it's really important you know whereas whereas Aries the opposite sign would want to just say what's on their mind to just get it out there and just you know like settle it and move on Libra doesn't feel that way so Libra would feel that that is unpleasant and untoward so they rather just not say anything and that's where they could have a tendency to be passive-aggressive because everybody you know is hurt at times or 
gets upset about something but the Libra moon is not gonna want to talk about it or say it so that can make things like fester a little bit so that's something you got to watch out for Libra moon another thing that Libra moon needs is balance in their life so they don't like to just put all their eggs in one basket and just want do one thing entirely they so they like to be balanced and have a lot of things to choose from a lot of varied interests and hobbies and things that they could get into they don't like for remember the Libra is also the scale so they wouldn't want just one thing to be entirely taking up their lives they want to strive for balance balance is very important for the Libra moon and <laughs> okay and lastly I like to talk about the sister sign and how the sister sign can balance a Libra and it can balance the moon in relationships. So in a relationship, I really think that it's important to have a partner that isn't just exactly like us and really doesn't challenge us because that's how we stay the same forever and like never really grow. So I think that it's important to have a partner that kind of leans on the other energy or opposite energy so that we could learn from that and kind of be balanced in ourselves. So an Aries partner might be balancing not necessarily I don't mean like an Aries Sun but somebody who exhibits Aries fire energy to kind of help the Libra not be so gracious all the time because there are times that you do need to get fired up Libra moon so somebody who fires you up when it's necessary or somebody who encourages you to maybe be a little selfish sometimes because Libra can be so gracious that they can tend to let other people always get their way and Libra can just you know just be like oh I'm okay with that I'm okay with that and Libra moon sometimes you're not gonna be okay with that and that's fine so a partner that would kind of encourage that and kind of spoil you a little bit and let you not be so fair and not so gracious all the time to let you be a little bit of a bratty Aries sometimes that would be beneficial so guys that is the video for today I hope you liked it if you did give me a thumbs up and I hope you subscribe. I put out videos every single week and I will see you in the next one.